good afternoon students today we are going to start with another important topic of human reproduction chapter estrous cycle so to begin with estrous cycle is seen only in case of non primates which includes every mammal except the primate mammal that is humans apes old world monkey so it is is seen in case of non primate mammals and in this cycle there is no menstrual bleeding the proliferative endometrium the proliferative endometrium absorbed within the uterus and is not secreted outside the body like that of menstrual cycle now estrous cycle is an extra topic which is uh, studied under human reproduction because from here sometimes uh, one one question can be ex expected like in some years we have seen so we do not leave this topic and we read this as an extra now so this occurs only in case of uh, you know all the mammals except the primate mammals so except we can say here except primate mammals that is human being apes and old world monkeys this cycle that is the estrous cycle is found in all mammals now this particular uh, estrous cycle on the basis of their occurrence can be divided into two types so when we look into the types of uh, estrous cycle on the basis of estrous cycle there are two kinds of mammals we can write it as on the basis of estrous cycle these mammals are of two types so we'll make a chart to understand them one is monoestrous mammal and the other one is polyestrous mammal monoestrous mammal will have this cycle only once in breeding season whereas the polyestrous mammals will have it more than one uh, you know in the breeding season meaning one cycle per breeding season is in case of monoestrous mammal so in case of mono estrous mammals there is only one cycle whereas in case of poly estrous mammal poly estrous mammal there is more than one cycle in a breeding season so we can write it like this that one cycle only one cycle in breeding season as for example this is found in dog fox deer and bat polyestrous cycle have more than one estrous cycle in the 
breeding season. As for example, mouse, pig, squirrel, cat, all of them show polyestrous cycle. Now from here, now if a question is asked, which is generally asked, which of these animals show either a polyestrous or monoestrous? So if a question is like polyestrous animal is a pig, a dog, a deer, or a bat, the answer will be pig. Okay, so if a question is like this asked in an MCQ, you can now very uh, nicely answer the question. Now let's move on to what are the stages of this estrus cycle. So let's look into stages of estrus cycle. Now we are going to make a pie chart to divide this estrus cycle into four types. They are of four stages. The first stage is called as pre-estrus phase. Second stage is called as estrus phase, which is the heat period. The third stage is called as meta-estrus phase. And the last is called as an estrus or diestrus phase. So we can just represent this in the form of a pie chart. So if we divide these four stages into four parts, we can see that it starts with a pre-stress followed by estrus, followed by meta estrus, and the last stage is an estrus. An estrus is a, is, a, is a stage which is a, a, a in between intermediate stage between two estrus cycle. It is also referred to as diestrus. Now, if we look into each of these stages, we will see there is an increased amount of estrogen in, in estrus phase, whereas there is less amount, that is a low level of estrogen in case of pre-estrus phase. So in pre-estrus, there is low estrogen, whereas in case of estrus, there is high level of estrogen. Now let's look into the changes that is happening during each period of time. So first of all, we are going to look into pre-estrus. Pre-estrus stage. Includes. The first stage. Where. Oogenesis. starts in the ovary. There is low level of estrogen during this period of time, but there are some changes in the uterus. So in uterus, the blood capillaries prepares itself and becomes more branched. And the muscles become more active. The most important stage, that is the main stage, which is called as estrus stage, is characterized by increase in diameter of the blood vessels. So there is increase in diameter of blood 
vessels followed by enlargement of mammary glands and due to due to high level of estrogen the sex urge develops in females and this is called as heat period the third stage is called as meta estrus stage where we can see that there is all physiological symptoms similar to normal pregnancy even in absence of fertilization now if fertilization occur then the phase extend up to for up to parturition so if fertilization occur extends up to parturition or child birth and if there is no fertilization if there is no fertilization then this becomes short then this stage becomes short and let's move on to the last phase which is actually uh, in between interphase stage of two estrus cycle so we can just understand this that an estrus or diestrus phase is the last phase where we can see that it is an interphase of two estrus cycle and thus is also called as diestrus phase now with this students i hope you understand little about how estrus cycle is different from the menstrual cycle which is shown in case of human beings and we are going to end up with today's